What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon and of course you can see right away that it has a lot of nice things on it. Uh, 53,000 miles on this one's pretty low miles on it. Um, first thing you'll see though is uh, it's got aftermarket wheels and tires. It looks really good on there. Um, I don't know if this is the factory Rubicon hood or not. I don't know a lot about Jeeps um, but definitely sharp looking with the uh, vented loopers on top. Um, it's got the uh, LED projectile headlights on the front, make this thing look really mean. Nice, different um, aftermarket hood latches. Um, I do believe it has a little bit of a lift on it too. You can tell it sits pretty high. Um, has different door handles on it as well. Um, big light bar up top um, with the full mount on it and everything, so it looks good. Oh yeah, by the way, here's the Carfax. Take a peek there at the Carfax quick. Hard top paint matched, aftermarket tail lights. Um, has a matching fifth spare, or the spare, I guess, not fifth. Um, also has backup cam there that is mounted um, on the license plate bracket. Uh, rear hatch door handle also has the matching as the rest. Um, a lot of cool stuff on the inside as well. So, we'll go ahead and just hop inside here, share everything up on the inside. Uh, first thing you notice is, like I said, it is a Rubicon, so it's all leathered up. It has the Rubicon branded seats. Um, up inside here. There you go, 53, 345 at the time of the video. So it uh, has all your controls over here for your display, um, for the dash, and your controls for your hands-free talking. Then your cruise controls on the left, or right, I apologize. Um, also has different controls for your radio. So one on the back of the steering wheel, one is for uh, seeking and one is for volume there on both sides um does have your headlight controls here on the left and your wiper controls on the right um does have the alpine stereo and everything um in this one so oh and this little switch right here is for the um lights up top of your led light bar so i not work unless i have the key on Let's see if it'll shine in here at all might be a little hard to see oh it's not running that's why Might just be too bright in here to actually see it. Um, sunshine right through the window. So, um, oh, actually, let me leave that on. So, it does have touchscreen radio in here. This does have navigation. So, this is the navigation screen. Um, let me go to the home button if I can find it. Just hit menu. There we go. Oh, that's just that. That's the map. Radio media. There we go. So, that's your home screen. Um, AM, FM does have the capabilities for satellite radio as well. Obviously, tells you what channels on there and everything like that. Uh, connect your phone if need be. If not, um, it does have a USB plug in. I don't want to pull that off. It's a little hard to get off sometimes. There we go. USB plug in, um, as well as an auxiliary plug in there as well. Um, these are your window controls to put your windows up and down. Actually, we're going to just put them down. It's a little warm in here. Um, all your AC controls are stuff down below. Uh, mirror adjusters here on the left it does have your heated seats in the front so here's a control for that and that um, auxiliary power button right there and then it does have traction control and things such downhill assist to braking stuff like that and uh, four ways so um full center console four wheel drive selector this one is an automatic so you can see it right there um gear selector um hand style e-brake cup holders center console it does have two layers top side and the bottom as well um, take a peek in the back here, look at the back seat. So it actually has a, a Corbell, um, like a Baja style bucket seat in the back, two seater. You can see the Corbell branding right there. Um, like I said, it does have the Airpine stereo, so it extends across this top roll bar and everything like that. Um, top side, uh, visors do have mirrors in them. Um, I think that's about it. Um, what you can expect out of an Jeep. Pretty well equipped for for being a Wrangler. So, but this time we're just gonna go ahead and do a final walk around. We try to be as transparent up front about everything, show you everything uh, great about a vehicle, as well as under many minor falls it may have. So, we'll just start here at the front. Thing is really sweet though. I'm not a Jeep person by any means, but um, this one does really look good. The black wheels and everything really help offset the white, especially with the light bar and everything. Looks really good. It's a happy balance. see anything across the back there 
Everything looks good. I was really hoping that light bar would uh, shine bright enough that everybody could see it. But if you have any questions about this Rubicon, please feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224. Sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to give us a call, you can always look us up on the web at allthingsautomotive.com and request information about this Jeep as well as any other vehicle we have on directly through our website. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a wonderful day.